welcome back to my channel super freaking excited you guys to do this tutorial for you guys got this tutorial because I look fucking ratchet sorry two in the afternoon and I got bored and before I cooked I was like let me record a video this could be the bonus of the week which I've already uploaded three times this week so I'm super super freaking excited and I decided to bring you guys a DIY video and I was like you know what I can never find the shades of the colors of lipsticks I want. So you guys know what it is today. Y'all know what it is today. So what I have on my lips, girls, ladies, boys, whatever, is my own lipstick. I made this lipstick. And I'm going to show you guys how I made these lipsticks. All these lipsticks right here. Look at the beautiful color combination, you guys. They do end up like drying kind of matte. Right now they're drying and I've had this on for a couple... 30 minutes bomb as hell so you guys want to learn how to do this keep on watching let's begin with the things we're going to be needing which we're going to need a chapstick and this is going to help a lot when it's too slippery, this is going to make it mattifying. Then our lip gloss, this is going to help mix them together and make it easier to mix and make it stick together. This is just 7 day pill reminder, I got this at the dollar store. Let me remind you guys, I got everything at the dollar store, even these nail files you guys. This is going to help us mix the product and then you're going to need an old eyeshadow palette you do not use anymore. So let's start. So what I like about this, you can mix a lot of different colors together to get the perfect tone you guys like. So we're going to go ahead and go into this light pink shadow right here. I was going for a nudie purple color, but this time, we're, I'm just going to show you guys what I did. So this is what I'm doing right now. So that's step two, putting all the products into this little container. After we have this in the container, we're going to go ahead and add the lip gloss and the chapstick, you guys. And this is what makes the consist consistency, sorry, can I even speak, you guys? But you can add as much as you want of eyeshadow, as much as you want of this. Just balance it out because you don't want it too dry and having a lot of, um, like, clogs. So this is as much as I put in there, and it worked out good for me. And the final step, you guys, just mix everything together. Take your time. Don't get frustrated. Once you see it, there's so many clumps in there, it's going to work out. If you guys see that you're mixing and mixing, it doesn't get slimy. Add a little bit more lip gloss. Don't add a little bit more chapstick because chapstick is drying for the eyeshadows as lip gloss is a little bit more wetter and slimier. So as you guys see, it's coming out into like this pink nude color. And then after a while, I noticed this color did oxidize a little bit and it turned into a brown. But it's in the nude section, so it's still a nice wearable brown. And yeah, that's how it's supposed to come out, you guys. So these other two colors I'll be showing you guys is just for practice. It's the same steps, so let's go ahead and just watch that. So I'm going to do a pink one this time. Go ahead and add your chapstick and lip gloss of choice, you guys. It can be a really cheap one you can find at the dollar store. I went and got my chapstick and everything I used in this video at the dollar store. Besides this lip gloss is a Victoria lip plumper I had. So I just went ahead and used that. That's what I had in hand. As you guys can see right here, I added a little bit more lip gloss because I added a little bit more eyeshadow. So I want it to look glossy but not super dry where you can see a lot of like product clumps. I don't like that. So... Yeah, this is what I did. Um, I've seen other people just do it with lip gloss, with foundation. But I said, let me just add a lot of lip products. And I think it would work out. 
These smaller containers are from glitter I had. Just dumped the glitter into the bigger containers and I found this more useful for the smaller ones because it's a little bit of product. So I'm going to go ahead and swatch it for you guys. Look how beautiful that color looks you guys. It's so pretty. It makes me so excited because it worked out. Like my formula worked out. I was going for a galaxy type of thing. As you see right there, I'm using the a lid to a water bottle because I didn't want to open another glitter and add the glitter to the bigger containers. So this worked out perfectly and then I just moved this to another container. So I was going for a galaxy look, but this just came out blue, but it was a pretty, pretty blue. I really, really liked it. So that's it for these lipsticks, so let's go into the lip swatches and the finger swatches and I hope you guys enjoyed it. And don't forget to like and leave you guys' subscription down below. Alright, bye!